Greetings to all that is, has been, and always will be. Welcome to another approach. Today we are going into the energy of the ancient spirits of the Aurora Borealis that took place on 7-13-2023 that the numbers come to 747. 747 is a type of aircraft. It is a jumbo jet. It is something that is used for commercial, which means it is something for the people. And this is the spiritual foundation or the spiritual work for spirit, okay? Or the spiritual work of spirit and what spirit is doing. This is also um, where I received the download that this is the noble gases um, because of the solar winds that come to hit um, Earth's atmosphere. That this is when the time of the expansion, the massive expansion of people being hit by this energy, by this noble gas that um, awakens them. It just jolts them. This is the time where we're going to experience more of total chaos. Okay, It doesn't matter what level you're on. But those that are just being abruptly awakened, their total chaos can be life-threatening and some more things and stuff, okay? Whereas those that are already consciously awoke, you know, we're still going to be in the midst of chaos, but it's how we're going to manage through it, okay? So, all that jazz. You know what to do if you so desire. I desire that you like, subscribe comment, share, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Um, also, um, in my description box will be my Cash App link as well as the link to my Patreon. Um, the Cash App is for any donations, any love tokens. Um, donations are going to a project that I am working on um, for a new workspace of my shed that I want to invert. Well, yeah, invert, revert renovate however into a workspace where I can come out of the house and um, the patreon is the personal space where we just come together and you know I break things down more for you um, certain tiers you know I give homework or different assignments that assist you along your journey of healing through the traumas um, I also give newsletters of and you know food for thought or soul food for your soul um, and that's pretty much it, fam. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the Aurora Borealis, a lot of you know that there's only three states that usually bear witness to that, which is Alaska, um, Canada, and S S Scandinavia. But on 7-13-2023, 17 states were able to bear witness to this natural phenomenon. So, these are the spirits of our ancient, however they left. So, we're going to look at some possible, some possible challenges or influences that's affecting our ability to connect more clearly to our higher self. So, we're going to the negative aspects of this first, okay? And then we're going to come into some support or possible how we can balance um, to bring our vibration up or to assist us on our spiritual growth journey. And we're also going to get some messages from the Ascendant Masters that may be able to assist you along your healing to bring forth more clarity, etc., etc. Let's go. Okay, past. Okay, so past influences that's affecting, that's impacting past influence. Past happiness, past influence is. A lot of the collective have been having a difficult time and in tapping into that authenticity of happiness. And it's coming from the past. It's affecting the current vibration of where you are in your present life today. So happiness, finding that joy, 
um, some of you are also um, having a difficult time in connecting to your inner child at this moment. And go within. So challenged or, you know, influenced. And I feel this is more of a challenge because this is what allows you or allows us to tap into our higher self our divine feminine, our divine masculine, our ego shadow, and our inner child. And then we have go with the flow. I feel like that is blocking because there's things that we're, there's doubt. There's questioning in the etheric realm within the collective and there's, we're also struggling with change as well. Changing some type of aspect within ourselves, within our life. Let's get a little more. But the go with the flow, you know, this is the connection to the ancient, you know, to the ancient cosmos. Um, to tap in, to go within to the solar plexus and the sacral. I don't know if we can capture that. Okay. So let's get a little more on this happiness. This is my star man or um, tarot deck that I'm going to use for this. My table may do a little wobble because I'm still set up a little strange. It's going to be this way for a minute, fam. That's another thing, you know. And donations are really appreciated or the support over on Patreon, you know, really would assist me, you know, as I still take care of my children, you know, within the house. And I can still produce and not take away from them. All right. This past energy of happiness. What is the expression? What wants to come out? What is this expression, this happiness that is difficult to be expressed, to be communicated? That reminds me of a newsletter. Happiness again. Happiness with happiness. The sun. Some of you just truly don't feel vibrant. There's a lot of doubt here within the self. Self-sabotaging doubt. Right now, the challenge is being able to build up your self-esteem. You may be doing well in the world, and your self-esteem may be good. But the area of the self-esteem and where there's lacking confidence is in the spiritual essence of who you are. This can be vice versa. You can be happy and and still and good in your spirit but you're having difficulty in being confident in the things on the outside of you go within i need something with that sun i it's a lot fam i need something else with this happiness with this sun because that's happiness and happiness that's like ultimate joy this is like total freedom and we're in the past the past is affecting that in us in being our own creative rulers at this time this is truly keeping us from tapping in and being able to have a strong connection to the ancient spirits but the ancient spirits of the aurora borealis is coming to impact to shake it up Okay, coming to shake it up, to bring it out. We have the Prince of Swords. This is coming to shake it up, okay? Shake up the past, whatever of the past. And we have the Three of Swords at the bottom. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Three of Swords. It's getting ready, it gets, it's getting ready to get shaken up, fam. All the pain, anything you've had laying dormant inside of you, no matter how far you are along this, what am I doing? 
no matter how far you are in this journey, things are getting ready to get shaken in your life. Something's getting ready to come and show you some stuff. With this page of swords coming out, it's getting ready to show you some stuff. Look at the wounds, the battle wounds. I feel that this is going to show you an area of happiness in a moment when it was lost. So for example, within my life, as I've been working with my mantras and working with Venus, because Venus is love, it's happiness, it's compassion, it's joy. And since I've been working with the Venus mantra, this is for going within of present, um, the challenge. Five of Cups, the disappointments. Um, I found that in the mantra and in the meditation that one of my areas of my ultimate sadness and not as a child of my past that impacted me was my first day of school. Living in Colorado Springs, my first day of school I experienced separation anxiety that felt like abandonment when I had to walk away from my mother, from my comfort zone. When I had to walk away, I act a fool, and that was brought to my remembrance. And it started me to question inside of me, in what is it that I need to learn? What is it that I was so afraid of? You know... How am I able to bring this awareness and this clarity to me? You know, so we have to ask the questions that we feel we don't want to question. But we have the Five of Cups with the present energy of going in, which is definitely, you know, something that is deep within um, from the disappointments of your cups. And we have the wheel. Let's go ahead and get this energy out and go with the flow, the challenge or the influence, the challenge in the connection, affecting the connection. This is a lot what's affecting the connection for a lot of us here and keeping us from truly going in and doing the work like we should is the fact that we're not allowing ourselves to grieve, to grieve the disappointments, the pains, the headaches, the heartaches. We're not allowing ourselves to grieve so that we can truly, like, I don't know, fam. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to take these two cards that's looking at me. Because this energy is really hot. It's really hot. And I've been comfortable in the, in, in the house. And this energy is really hot. But let me show you for going within... We have the Five of Cups with the wheel card. The wheel. This is this is the current situation of karma. The unhappiness, the search of the inner child, of the happiness. When I speak of inner child, I speak of purpose. I speak of power. I speak of innocence, joy, okay? The sun. So presently, there's some strong karma past life and generational that is present here that is affecting the ability so I'm hearing that there's some energy clearing there's some energy clearing that needs to take place within the collectives those that come to this message that receive the message and that this energy resonates with it is time to clear your space Smudge, there's more, th I'm seeing more than one, that there's more than one um, area of cleanse here. I'm seeing the outside, cleansing the air on the outside. I'm seeing the inside of the home being cleared, possibly your office being cleared if you work outside of your home. I'm also seeing the internal body. The internal body I am guilty of. I have been eating things. I have been eating things that Mama Soul Lily knows she don't have no business eating. 
okay? But that's because Christelle of me has been trying to resist, trying to resist the things that's been transmuting and changing inside of my spiritual essence. I'm guilty, but I've been working through it. I've been going in, tapping in to search it out. So right now, going within to really connect with your ancestors, the ancient ancestors, and and know that the ancestors, it 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 it, it does not mean it's a loved one. An ancestor can be as simple. Let me please bring this forward. An ancestor can be as simple as a life you've lived once before you became this body know this there's a strong misconception a strong misconception of ancestors ancestors can be the ancients ancestors can be the angels however okay Let's bring this into a clearer perspective. Allow that to be your food for thought. But allow yourselves to grieve. For going with the flow, we have the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. Mmm. I'm hearing someone's like every time I go in and I go to celebrate myself and I think I'm in the flow of it all shit just keeps happening that's how I'm hearing it that's how I'm hearing it energy cleanse Connecting to water is really important. There's something else coming in, but I'm having a hot flash family. I gotta turn on my loud my loud spaceship over here called the air condition. Oh no, she not trying not to come on. You better come on, girl. Thank you. Appreciate you. Ooh, gotta get a little air family. Anyways, in order to bring peace, affecting your connection is a division in your house. As within, so without. Okay? So this is your spiritual family within you and the physical family on the outside of you. If you really look at it, you're going to see it. Okay, but what's affecting it is there's no unity, there's no praise, there's what's affecting, okay, what's affecting your ability to connect to the aurora borealis, the northern lights of the ancient spirits that have once lived. Balance. Bring unity. Give praise where praise is due. Give gratitude where gratitude is due. Count your blessings when you sit at whoever's table that you sit. And recognize what has been bestowed upon you, whether bad or bad, ugly, beautiful, or good. Because when there's a bad, there's always something good. And when there's beautiful, there's always something ugly that's going to show. This is divine alchemy. This is the way that we use energy to transmute and change energy so that we can continue to tap within and go with the flow to be within balance. To know when our crosses our three phases of creation are off balance and how we can go in and make the necessary adjustments 
so that we can be happy because happy is here everywhere we have the sun we have happiness and the four of wands the four of wands is a is the energy of celebration it can re also represents unions marriages but let's see i've given a lot in regards to how to support if you take the message and how it's been affected it kind of guides you and shows you how to make the necessary corrections when we use our own mind and just take the parables that are spoken this is the time of the Aquarius it's time for all of us to broaden our minds and to broaden our communication and open our mouths and stand forward and face what we need to face within and on the outside so let's get some support some support that can assist us on our spiritual growth and to also rise our frequency of course we know connecting with nature um, eating a good um, crisp and fresh diet incorporating um, flower essences essential oils and eating fresh herbs or to making a tea let's go let's see source says anoint that's no anoint anoint thy head with oil my cup runneth over some of you um, may need to make a protection oil or banishing oil here as well to clear your aura to put in your baths some of you also need to start spraying down your packages and your mail as well when it comes in the page the prince which is the page of swords mail when it comes in supreme creative source mama solely what is the support or what can they use to attract more vibration to their spiritual growth one more two more solar plexus working with that shoulder solar plexus and we have reach out I'm not gonna read that one but reach out reach out family reach out to those that you mm. we have the root chakra and the solar plexus the first one out family we cannot make this up gratitude give forth gratitude no matter what your situation this is affecting a lot of our connections and not looking at the simplicity and the simple things within life and the things that we do have the things that we have already been honored to possess as kings and queens or gods and goddesses some of you are just kings and queens you haven't made it to the god and goddess um, position just yet because there's work that need to be done and what it says it says, I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each brings. Come on, fam. And then we got that four. Y'all saw that four? That four? Come on, 747 in the middle. The work for the foundation of spirit. The spiritual work of the foundation of spirit. And this is also spirit bringing this energy in as well. Some of it's going to be very intense. I have to say, it's going to be very intense. It's going to rock some root chakras. It's going to knock some foundations and some securities from underneath of your feet. And we have the solar plexus chakra here as well. That is in regards to us tapping back into our confidence, being courageous, being in that sun energy. You understand? Being in it. This is how we support it getting in finding ways finding ways to tap in stay grounded to allow the change and here we go 13 13 713 is when the aurora borealis took place spirit is here to bear witness it's bearing witness but the root chakra says i have everything i need to survive and grow on this physical plane the solar plexus chakra says, I take actions daily 
that awaken my personal power. So the actions is for us to allow ourselves to go in. What's supporting how to attract is first, give more gratitude. Give more gratitude. Keep yourself grounded at all times. Know that you are well. Know that you are capable no matter what storm you're going through. No matter what challenge you are faced with that makes you feel unhappy. Go in. Go with the flow. Everything has a balance. A up and a down. Your solar plexus is just really asking you to be confident in yourself. To build up your essence within your esteem and how you feel and view yourself. I'm hearing tap into some energies, whether you recall your childhood or not. To tap... Something just fell. When... How did that slip off my chair? I have no idea. But it sounded like marbles. It sounded like marbles. I don't know if there's someone here that likes to play with marbles. Maybe that's something that you need to tap into. Find some type of childhood something to tap into. Use your children if you have children or your grandchildren if you have to. To assist you into tapping into those areas of happiness. Find a Leo friend of some sort that's just giddy and just, you know, just so, you know, childlike. But it's joy. It's freedom. It's, you know, it's goodness. You know, we all need that. Um, use that if, if that's accessible. If not, find something. Coloring book, whatever that brings you joy. Whatever you think will bring you joy. Right now, what has been bringing Mama Soul joy? Go on to sleep. And drinking tea from my garden. Let's get some archetype energies. And let's see what ascendant masters that are here to assist you. We are going into the Goddess Gods and the Guardians deck first. And then we are going into the Angels amongst us. And then we are going to conclude. Self-love. Self-love, self-gratitude. Look at the storm, some of the things that you have overcome. Look at the ones within the present moment that you live and the challenges that you face within yourself in your everyday and forgive yourself just for that for me for example for my example to be something to look at within your life is my daughter did something very small but it ticked me off because it was like where was your brain and I yelled at her and at first I started to feel bad because I yelled at her but then when I sat in myself, I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. Sometimes we need that tough love in order for us to actually hear what was said. Use your brain. Because I told her, use your brain. You have a brain to motor plan, to help you motor plan. You just have to use it. So that message also applies here. You just have to use it. But that emotion in itself you would think oh you're wrong oh you uh, uh. no i'm grateful for that moment because now my daughter is using her mind in other places may not be that exact thing or situation but i'm noticing i'm observing the fact that she's doing other things and she's using her mind to be more creative in her childlike energy that's for a reason Let's see. Golf. Odin. The divine masculine is in reverse in my eyes. Golf. 
came in reverse. This is Odin. And he jumped right on top of happiness. The past. Impact. A lot of action. A lot of movement. Some, um, what is that? The heron? Um, that bird? That may be someone's, um, animal spirit? Ooh, we got a lot. Maybe two more source. Ascended... Ascended Masters to assist. Hackett, past life healing. I need y'all to see that. Isis sacred contracts receipts contracts lessons that need to be learned Isis is a set we have hard tell the truth tell the truth tell the truth to yourself be honest with yourself open up yourself look at yourself process yourself Use my life as an example. Find it. Look at it. Infotep. Look at it. The visionary family. Look at your science. I'm hearing look at your science. Pay attention to your science. Look at your IC as well. Your, your past life. Your IC. Also your south node as well. Start to look a little more. Do a little more research in your south node so that you can come to collect to see what you have come to master in those lives of your south node and what of your family's energy um, you possess of those past lives. South node energy. And then your IC, this is for your past lives to see what gifts what spiritual gifts or what things may have been done um, before in the IC that is below the Midhaven and this is also shows you what your ancestors in regards to the blood of thy blood um, were more into start to research 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 and let's see what the angels amongst us This may go to a second clip, and I may not be able to edit, so there will be another link. Angels amongst us here to assist us within our healing, to bring forth clarity as we continue to sojourn. Aurora Borealis. There is nothing else to say, I hear. They're saying, there's. I heard, and then I heard, hold up. We have Sekhmet, an archangel, Chrysel. Well, well, well. Destruction, rebuilding, fierceness. Destruction of the old. That Pisces, I mean that Scorpionic energy. We have to destroy things in order to rebuild the things that are of new. And this is on an orange color. So this is dealing with the destruction of the things of the past of our sacred waters that have been keeping us from being able to go in with the flow.
going within and going with the flow and connecting to the divine within us. And Archangel Christel says, higher consciousness, Christ's light, which means higher consciousness, or the Christos and the light. I do say, my beautiful souls, if you have made it this far, do like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification as well. And until next time, I will see you beautiful souls, what, in another video. I'll share.